Hi, I'm Tom Smar. I'm the executive director here at Jenkins Arboretum and Gardens and welcome to spring. Uh, every year, the first week of April, we invite people to come and enjoy the emergence of spring uh, during our Wednesday walkabouts. Unfortunately, with this year, we're not able to do that, but we decided we wanted to do a virtual walkabout. So come join me up the trail. We've been enjoying for the past couple weeks this uh, beautiful pieris, or sometimes known as Andromeda. Uh, this is uh, Pieris taiwanensis, but we also have Pieris japonica, which is a little more commonly known. Um, but it's been blooming a good two or three weeks now. Um, big, it's nice to have the big sort of uh, cloud of white here in the garden. This is uh, Sanguinaria or bloodroot, uh, named for it because actually if you dug it up and pinched the roots, they actually bleed red, which is really interesting. The flower is not quite open. It sort of opens up as sort of a traditional uh, daisy-like one. This one's almost finished. You can sort of see how it opens up there a little bit like as sort of a the typical sort of flower look but I love the buds at this time as they emerge with the blush pink on them until the, until they turn uh, more white. This is the native Pachysandra um, also known as the Allegheny Spurge and it's actually in full bloom. Uh, it, all its leaves have died back over the winter more or less in the spring and it'll emerge with new leaves but you can see these fun sort of flowers and if you're able to get down on your knees and belly, they have a wonderful fragrance. Trillium pulsolum. It's a great little trillium. You can see it's pretty small, but I love the colors on this. Um, it's a little bit pink on the back side. Even the leaves are a little bit blush pink on the back side, um, which really sort of come through the front of the petals um, that are mostly white. But the trilliums are really special and they're just starting right now. So we're looking forward to doing more about trilliums in the future. The yellow root is in full bloom. A little hard to see. Um, it's this beautiful purple flowers uh, that sort of adorn at the top of these awkward little stems. I always think they look a little bit like a carrot top sort of thing. It's called yellow root because we found this broken branch, but you can see that yellow, yellow wood in there and uh, really bright and intense in there. And it's amazing the secrets that some plants have inside of their wood and their roots. But um, yellow root's just a really special um, ground cover, typically can handle a little bit of a dry condition, but um, it's, it's fun because of these stems and the fun leaves on top. Thank you for joining me today on this Wednesday walkabout. It's been a lot of fun walking through, showing you parts of the garden. And I'm sorry we can't show it to you in real life, but I hope this video piece has been a, a helpful way of seeing some of it. We'll keep doing these for Wednesdays and maybe some other video clips in the future, but also check out our website for different activities. We just start, launched uh, Jenkins at Home on our website that has activities and things on it. And I hope you get a chance to get outside and enjoy a bit of the nice weather of spring and see what kind of things are unfurling and happening in your own little neighborhood.